And welcome to another Subnautica Below Zero quick peek, sneak peek, eh, whatever you want to call it. I think we're going to try to cover a few small updates in this with a few little videos. As you see, this is one of them. I don't know how in the hell they're flying. They don't normally fly, but yeah, we now have the little robot droids in these sanctuary base. Should be three of them that I have found. Poss I think that's it. I don't know. I, I've i only found three. There might be more, but I think there's just three. There should be another one right here, which I think he's broken. He don't want to move. And there should be another over there. disappeared on us. Oh, nope, oh, I hear him. There he is. I don't know how the hell they're flying around. Anyway. I thought that was kind of cool. Let you guys see that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and in this part of the video here I'm gonna try to splice together a few little quick peeks I think into one to what we'd possibly be covering in the live stream tonight so bear with me this is my first time splicing and all this crap but give me a minute let's see how this video ends up with the other things I'm gonna splice in all right and the second part of the quick peek sneak peek this glowing thing. We have flower spores now down in the lily pad or the uh, yeah deep lily pads which is the uh, resource that's gonna be down here. I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna be for yet because we don't know but as you see all the glowing red dots are lily pad resource which I could, they're calling it flower spore I don't think they've changed it the deeper you go I think it's all the same uh, yeah they're all flower spores so we'll be checking this out later tonight as well if we uh, do a live stream and we got one more little quick peek that I am going to stitch in here, so we will see you on that one. Alright, here we are with part three of four. I'm sorry, I have one more that I'm going to show you after this, but you see we are behind the crashed ship. Glacial Basin. Uh, if you go down here now, they have now put some more caves to enter the Sea Monkeys cave system. And you can easily get lost down here. Passing 200 meters. Very easily. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Uh, as you see, it brings us to the scannable precursor and there's also a cube here as well now to get out of here and we will see you on the last and final quick peek that I can think of at the moment and we'll see you in a minute and here we are with the last of the quick peek sneak peeks in this video now, we are in Hover Zone 3 again, which we've been here before, but they have did a lot more work since we were last here. You can see they are really starting to deck this place out and get it ready for the game. So we can make our way through here real quick. And there's a new plant that is going to be in game here real quick. They just added it to the game database. 
Uh, I'm sure there is a spawn code that we have not figured out just yet. We need a little light. But I have a feeling it will be probably over here in the ice caves. Which... We did a lot of work over here. A lot of grass, a lot of little boulders and snowballs. And then we get in here, and they have really started doing some work. And... There we go. They've got some crystals going on in here. Not really sure what that is. But yeah, they've got a lot of work they've done over here. Nice, cool ice caves with the icicles hanging. They have been working their tail off on here. Anyway, we will check this all out, hopefully tonight in a live stream. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. That like and subscribe, notification bell, and the share button. I would appreciate it. And I am hoping that we will have a live stream tonight. I think there's enough content here we can cover in a short one. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. We'll see you hopefully later tonight.